Hello everyone, it's that time of the week again. It's time for Isaac's Saturday Race Tips. And um, I'll take you straight through it. Um, today we've got races that I look at at Ladbrokes Park Hillside and also Royal Randwick. Um, let's start off at Ladbrokes Park. And we start off with race three, the Ladbrokes Back Yourself Handicap. Now, um... You know, in this race, I've got two horses. I think number four, Run to Perfection, will go well. It's got barrier three. Um, if not Run to Perfection, I reckon number five, Imperial Lad. It's got barrier one. Despite the inner barrier, uh, I think he can conquer it and, um, you know, get the win. Obviously, this race is a one 1,300 metre race. So, I think Imperial lad will go well and beat that barrier no worries um you might want to look at taking a quinella for that one because both of those horses i think will have a great run um then we move on to race four the clanbrook racing handicap now i've got four horses in this one so um as i, I i've mentioned over the last couple of weeks you might want to take a first four a box first four um or you might want to put four horses in a box trifecta. Um, so we've got number three, WT, which is the favourite at the moment. It's currently backed at $3.70 and it's got barrier three. So I think um, it'll go well. Number four, Jukon, uh, currently around the $13 mark um, and it's got barrier four. I think he'll go well. Um, if he doesn't get the win, he'll definitely get a place, I would think, or or around that fourth, fourth or third, I'd say. Um, number five is Bartholomew Diaz, the trainers for this horse, Kieran Ma and David Eustace. Um, you know, Bartholomew Diaz, six-year-old gelding. Uh, for this race, she's got Jamie Carr on board. She's got Barrier 7. I think Bartholomew Diaz will go extremely well, and that's my horse to win the race. Um, and I think Jamie Carr will obviously get her over the line for a great win. Uh, the last horse uh, for this race that I'd like to talk about is number six, Stars of Karen. Now, I've seen it race before. It goes well. Uh, I think it needs a good jump and just follow through from there on. It's got barrier two for this race. So all four of these horses will go well. And hopefully they come in first, second, third and fourth. Um, then we look at race five, the Ladbrokes Easy Form Handicap. Um, I've got number seven, Galgani. It's got Barry eight. Now this horse, she's raced over the past couple of weeks. Um, I think there were a few at Flemington and Caulfield. She's gone well. Um, I think she'll go well in this race for at least a place. Uh, I think she'll get at least second. The horse that I want to see get up and win is number 10, Cancino. It's got Barrier 6 and Lockie Kings on board for this one. I think Lockie um, will have a, have a great ride and um, get Cancino over the line for a nice win. Race 6 is the tile in Porter Handicap race. I've got number 3, Still Be Friends. Uh, it's got Barrier 7, I think. She'll go well, or if not, still be friends. Number eight, Pig in Mud. Um, it's got Barry Fort, Jamie Carr on board for yet another horse uh, for the day. And I think Pig in Mud will get the win. Uh, I think it'll have a strong finish. Uh, you know, there's a few other horses in this race which can uh, put a bit of a fight, put up a bit of a fight and um, maybe challenge Pig in Mud. But I'm going with my gut on this one and sticking with it. So that's number three and number eight for race six. Um, and that's it from me for the Ladbrokes Park Hillside. Let's move on to Royal Randwick where we look at race four, which is um, going to be a great race. I think you've got two good horses that are, I love, uh, which are number three. I'm telling you who's got barrier two. Um, it's currently backed at $13, so it's got a good price on him. Um, or if not, I'm telling you, I'd go with number six, Valaquenta. Got barrier three, Kieran McAvoy on board for this one. It's currently backed at $6 in the market. Now, both of these horses um, are geldings. 
Uh, obviously, I'm telling you, I'm much older. He's seven years old, and Vala Quint is just a three-year-old. But um, you know, I'm go if I needed to choose a winner, I'd go with Vala Quinta. Um, young, more young uh, in age, got more speed. But I wouldn't, um, you know, go against. I'm telling you, I'd go with him actually. He's a wise horse, um, knows when to go, and uh, both these horses are going to go well. Hopefully, they both come in uh the last race for the race tips is race eight the carrington stakes number one quacker jack it's hard to go past him barrier 10 now he's got the wide barrier but he can conquer it i believe uh strong horse and um hopefully he can get over the line uh if not quacker jack number three order again new zealand horse barrier four go extremely well if i needed to choose a winner i'd go with order again uh just because of the the um barrier it's got a better barrier than obviously quacker jack and uh it's going to be a great race this one so um, there's my picks, guys, and tips for the day. Hope you got something out of it. If you are taking a punt, um, all the best to you. Good luck, and as always, gamble responsibly.